along the nail and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, education, information, guidance, advice. And I want to continue uh, in my series of videos with respect to uh, the seer of Lublin. This has been uh, Yaakov Yitzhak Halevi Horowitz, the seer of Lublin, the Jose of Lublin. And he was, uh, saw, uh, at one point he was asked, with, protect, uh, with respect to the passage in Genesis that says uh, that uh, Abraham, Avram, stretched out his hand and then immediately after it says he took the knife. And his disciples, his students, his Hasidim says, isn't the first part superfluous? I mean, obviously, if he took the knife, he stretched out his hand. Why? What's going on here? Why, why, does, it, why does it you have this, this seeming superfluous phrase? We know that that nothing in the Torah is is there just cause it has meaning so we don't understand why and the seer of uh, Lublin said Avram Avinu our patriarch our father Abraham had consecrated his entire being his entire body every limb of his body only to do something in the service of God and not to do anything contrary to the will of God. So when God says, you offer your son, your only son whom you love, Isaac, and you know, take him to, to Mount Moriah, offer him as a sacrifice, Abraham understood this to mean to sacrifice, to shack his son. It's not what God meant. He said, offer him. He didn't say, actually, do the sacrifice. Anyway, what happens is, when it came time to grab the knife, the hand was consecrated never to do anything contrary to the will of God resisted and it was through sheer willpower through the the power uh, of his fervor that he forced his hand like a messenger that can only do what is told by by the king who, who, who sends him only say the words that is that are given to him doesn't really have he can't improvise that sheer faith that willpower that was what forced that hand uh, out contrary to uh, its consecration to do nothing against the will of God. That's why the Torah says he stretched his hand out and he took the knife. That's why um, it says Avram stretched forth his hand and took the knife. Um, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.